fulfilling career as a stunt double. To break into Pinewood, <laughs> you just might have to break through a windshield. Hey. Cunning Stunt Academy is San Andreas's oldest accredited stunt school. We have classes in high-speed accidents, taking a baseball bat to the face, getting shot, knifed in the back, falling off a building on fire, and getting run over. If you make it through our course, you are ready for the big screen. Make dull and vain famous people look cool by dressing up as them and risking your life and future health. Then, have your face digitally removed on a green screen. The Cunning Stunt Academy trains women too. Ooh. Have a nice rack? Pinewood needs stunt tits to show when an A-list celebrity is too bashful or has pancake nipples. The Cunning Stunt Academy. Fame, it's worth any price. What happens when man's best friend becomes dinner? Dude, eat dog. The reality cooking show that will have you looking at Fido in whole new delicious ways. It's Bow Wow Chow. Dude, eat dog on CNT. Santos docks. This is where it all begins. Second largest port in the world. The great orifice of American capitalism. Stuff coming in, garbage going out. And hidden in over two million containers a day. God only knows what. The cartels pay off some low-level schlub, and suddenly you've got military-grade weapons, badly cut crystal meth, and grade A yayo from Mexico flooding our streets. And once it hits the hood, it's anarchy. Side of murder, hold the prize. Or maybe the Chinese are slipping some of our high security weapon systems in with the recycling. And we're giving up our national security for nothing? Who knows? Who cares? As long as the financial party continues, we'll just keep picking up the pieces. A word to the wise kids never use PCP. It makes you want to punch cops and run around naked, and not necessarily always in that order. Most of the time, this illicit cargo makes it straight to the gangs. But sometimes, an ordinary Joe lets go and loses his shit after a pipe or two of pleasure dust. The Vagos. Bloodthirsty Jacanos with a predilection for pain, papaya juice, and spicy plantains. They're one of the largest Mexican street gangs in the city, with rumored connections to several major mafias. While half the battle out here is fought with guns, the other half is with informants. Sometimes you need to become the bad guys to bust the bad guys. All right, guys, let's go. When the ballas and the families aren't shooting each other, they're selling the dope that the junkies are shooting into their veins. The families love sports almost as much as they love banging. Flashy, arrogant, competitive, and aggressive, they are lifelong bitter enemies of the ballas. Wearing the colors of the feud or the corkers, the families call themselves Gang Green. Of course, like all families, they love a good squabble. Subdivided into sets, such as the Chamberlain Gangsters and the Carson Avenue set, it turns out the families love shooting each other almost as much as they love shooting ballas. Now, the LSPD have had many run-ins with various family sets over the years, with the ballas. The FIB take a more community outreach approach. 
Hey guys, stay out of trouble now. Suck my Now the ballas fly the colors of the Los Santos Panic or the board, purple, because they are the bruise on the face of this city. While some thugs obviously prefer four wheels, other desperados prefer two. Leather, exhaust, and drugs. No, this isn't an exotic S&M party. These are one of the nation's toughest outlaw motorcycle gangs, the Lost. Rumors are they get a new tattoo for every person they stab. And it's definitely okay for your motorcycle mama to show her breast to your friends. The FIB has been tracking the lost for years. We've jumped from coast to coast and have spent more time in the Midwest than a tornado spotter. When they're not running meth, they're smoking it. Or so I hear a dangerous new drug on the streets called toilet cleaner. And believe me, your toilet will be cleaned after you've smoked some of it. Mm. Of course, Vinewood being Vinewood, it's not all about leathery dudes trying to show off on their motorbikes or roided up gangbangers stuck in some 90s time warp. This is the town that made mass murder into nostalgia. Of course, to become truly popular, your murder has to be both unsolved and gruesome. In a town full of alien spotters, adults dressed as zombies, and entertainers dressed as cartoon characters, it takes something particularly awful to really catch people's attention. The famous unsolved murder of a Vinewood starlet is one such case. For years, horny nerds have wondered what happened to Leonora Johnson, and if they would have plucked up the courage to speak to her or kill her themselves. It's inspired filmmakers, writers, and copycat killers Conspiracy theorists have blamed various celebrities, the mayor, the Soviets, short skirts, women's liberation, and hidden aliens embedded amongst us for the murder. But not all crime is premeditated. Maybe drinking's your thing. Look at this drunken buffoon proving that there doesn't always need to be criminal intent to cause serious criminal damage. Or maybe you're just an overprivileged poppycock. Living on daddy's pension and protesting about the unfairness of capitalism. Maybe stock market manipulation is your bag, or loan sharking, double identity theft, assassination, or even worse, swinging. On our next episode, I, Stephen Haynes, will show you the flashier side of crime in Los Santos. Illegal street racing, cocaine, and vice. Yes, speed, snort, and sex. The alliterative threesome that helped hook America on the underbelly of paradise. In times like these, it's important to remember the good things. Sure, the economy may be a little rough, and we may be shuttering schools, hospitals, and libraries to pay union pensions. But San Andreas is still the place where dreams are made. This is where counterculture began and then morphed into a nanny state. A place that preaches environmental stewardship but has a terrible public transit system and the worst air in the world. Experience more of San Andreas, the suburban sprawl. No sense of community and no building more than 30 years old. Where fluffy children's theme park animals are both our heritage and our culture. San Andreas leads the country in removing pristine first growth forests to build generic strip malls and tract mansions. San Andreas, we won't be broken hypocrites forever. Brought to you by the San Andreas Tourism Board. You can cancel that gym membership because Fat Chips have all the crunches you need. Finally, snacks have gotten healthy. We've taken the humble but deadly potato chip and taken away a whole lot of fat and added a whole heap of fat. Confused? You won't be. With a controlled exercise and diet plan, the pounds just fall off and the fat gets radical. It's time to take health to the streets. It's time to make health cool. Try all new healthy flavors like radical sour cream and black licorice quinoa, funky honey mustard greens and ketchup prawns, chipotle wheatgrass, Bavarian car key party, dry Greek rub greens, and Norwegian Salmon Rancher Surprise. Yum! Fat chips. Get crunching and stop crunches. 
We've made Huffy's bad game cool. Princess Baba Bubblegum! What are you doing, Master? I'm reading the comments on your recent videos. These people are a little, uh, a little... They're a bunch of horny, lonely perverts. Those are your fans. Be respectful. Do not bite the hand that feeds. Okay, so what are they saying about me? Oh, let me see here. This one says that your boyfriend is a too feminine. Like he played both sides of the sushi bar, but he don't like fish or surf clam. He only like octopus. But this is a terrible analogy. Where's that useless cutesy sidekick of yours that walks on the tips of his toes? What the hell? Saki, make this pill go boom! Saki, you little alcoholic shitbag! Are you okay? Oh, he's fine. He's just a concussion or massive internal bleeding or something. Poke him. That wasn't Saki's illicit booze bath. Something is going on outside. <laughs> We could license that. Yes, that's what we do. License part of a balanced breakfast. Princess robot bubblegum, crispy slashy pops, and special furry pancakes. Oh, no! Oh, the ancient ones warned this day would come. What ancient? Me. Knock down the secret temple and build a 24-hour drive through massage parlor. With, uh, you know, the human traffic Australian chicks, they love it. <laughs> you don't even have to leave your car. She just reach through the window, wanky, wanky, wanky. Hey, bloke, you want a cocker too? You know? Uh, okay, good. Okay, girl, there is a big wrecking ball outside, and they're gonna smash your house down. We know! Calm down, bitch. You're gonna ruin my hair. Master, you taught me discipline. Why haven't you paid the bill? I was, uh, very distracted. I have a 300-year mortgage to pay, and my pension got cut. It's a hard time for everybody. Pension? I thought you was the ancient ninja master, is what you told me. I am. Many years ago, I was an ancient ninja postmaster for about five years. Then I retire on a 275-year pension. I can throw a postcard across the room and give you a terrible paper cut. The post office was horrible. Licking, stamping, licking, and licking. God damn it, it's like dealing with my second wife. Your face goes numb, you take a coffee break, you turn back to a soul-crushing job that leaves you feeling terrible afterwards. Hello, master. How are we going to save our house? But Master, since the last DVD got edited by censors in the West, we don't sell so many. So no more merchandising. No more Princess Robo Bubblegum dolls, or pencil cases, or rulers, or blow-up companions, or love balls, or erotic massage oils, or all the other creepy shit you've sunk all your money into. Sometimes the path is not straight, but it's still true. Oh, I like that line. I like that. Maybe I sell it on a bumper sticker. Anyway, the path of truth is still the path of merchandising. Personal merchandising. Merch, merch, merch. <gasps> I never knew you worked in marketing. Oh, it's easy. Any fool with half an MBA can do it. Listen, you will save our house in the time-honored way. Please, horny men, one after the other. They will be standing in line for a chance at you, and we can charge them $20 a pop. Master, I won't be a massage girl. No, stupid bitch. We go to comic convention. You sign an autograph, and we sell some more action figures. We rebrand the erotic oil as a, as a personal usage erotic oil for the lonely lover. And the branded socks to clean yourself up with afterwards. You know, it's prostitution of a different kind, but legal, personal merchandising. Oh, it makes my loins ache. Oh, this is so exciting. Never in my years of being a blind androgynous child with a huge sword could I have imagined such wonders. Yes, truly the script writers have reached new heights. Time for an incongruous clip of an arousing girl fight. Drunk and slept 
pants in my underwear drawer, but I loved him like a brother. Please, that's like the last five guys you've gone out with. Master, what are you doing? Yeah, fuck that little blue raccoon. We'll get you a new one. Master! <laughs> River, you're a big girl. This is exciting rebranding opportunity. Nothing sells like a cute animal sidekick. We have auditions. We'll change them every season. Rave of the mom. Fuck it. center and save this ancient temple. <laughs> Just a mash it on the floor. Princess Robot Bubblegum is brought to you by... No Go Vodka. The new premium vodkas come from a place where everyone's depressed, most people are unemployed, and a few rich people have stolen all the money. Not Russia, the Midwest. No Go. Premium vodka from the heartland, not the motherland. Smells something terrible. It's like a fat person's armpit, Cuddy, for real. And nobody's buying.